What up guys, it's your boy Quake, and 50 Cent has decided to take Pop Smoke's legacy into his own hands. But before we get into that, be sure to follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at QuakeGW. A link is in the description below for both, and like this video. As you guys know, last month, Pop Smoke unfortunately passed away from a targeted hit. And they're trying to find out what exactly happened and who did this, but law enforcement is having trouble doing that right now. And if you guys don't know, Pop Smoke was heavily influenced by 50 Cent. He referenced him on tracks various times, and in interviews, he constantly mentioned being influenced by 50 Cent. Even in his music, his tone somewhat sounded like 50. And when Pop Smoke passed, 50 Cent was very upset about the situation. He posted several things on Instagram, a photo of him and Pop Smoke, he said in the caption, no such thing as success without jealousy. Treachery comes from those who are close. RIP. He posted another thing on Instagram of him rocking a Pop Smoke shirt. And in the caption, he said, I'm rocking that young gangster drip, New York, New York. And after Pop Smoke's passing, a song from him leaked online. And on this track, on the hook, he's referencing 50 Cent's Mini Men. And he actually kills it. I mean, if you haven't heard this, type in on YouTube pop smoke mini men i'll leave a link in the description below if you can't find it but it is fire i mean he was the next 50 cent it seemed like and 50 cent actually heard this track on the radio and said in a caption i told you guys to make sure nothing happens to him what the fuck man he was on his way and with 50 cent being a huge fan of pop smoke and pop smoke looking up to 50 it's only right that 50 has a hand in in his debut album and that's exactly what 50 cent just recently announced he posted this on instagram he said i'm on the move listening to pop smoke i decided i'm gonna executive produce and finish his album for him now this was a huge surprise because 50 cent hasn't really been focused on music a lot recently he's been doing a lot of tv show stuff executive producing for power for for life and other programs that he has coming in the future so for him to say that he's going to take time out of his life to executive produce pop smoke's debut album when he's not really interested in music like that anymore just shows how much Pop Smoke's death affected 50. Now remember, Pop Smoke has not officially released an album, so this is going to be his first album and possibly his last album. He released two mixtapes, Meet the Woo 1 and Meet the Woo 2, just recently in February. So for his debut album, of course, it has to be something major, huge, something that's going to catapult his career and leave a great legacy. And 50 Cent is making sure of that. And how he's making sure of that is by getting huge artists on the album. And one of the hottest artists right now out in hip hop is Rowdy Rich. So 50 Cent posted on Instagram and tagged Rowdy Rich and said, tell Rowdy Rich I'm looking for him. I need him on Pop's album. Then Rowdy Rich commented on the post and said, say less. Basically meaning, I agree, I'm going to get on it. Then 50 took it a step further and reached out to Drake and said, see, I got Rowdy Rich on deck. This shit is going to be stupid. Champagne Poppy, which is Drake, where are you at? Don't start acting light-skinned on us. Now, Drake hasn't responded to that post in public, but I'm sure behind the scenes, 50 will make it happen. Then he continued even further and reached out to Chris Brown and said, yo, I'm going to need you on this record, but what the fuck did you do to your hair, blood, LOL? Of course, 50 is always going to poke fun at people, so he decided to pose a picture of Chris Brown with his hair different colors. And more than likely, Chris Brown is also going to do the track as well. So you have already confirmed 50 on the album, 100%. You have Drake, Roddy Rich, and Chris Brown, and who knows who else he's going to get on the project. That's sounding like a crazy debut album. I'm sure Pop Smoke looking down is super proud. I hope 50 also jumps on the Miniman track that leaked from Pop Smoke. It would be dope for him to add a new verse to that track. So what do you guys think about this? I, quite frankly, am happy that 50 Cent is getting back involved into music. Hopefully this sparks something in him that makes him want to release more music. And it's been a while since 50 Cent has executive produced an album. So it's going to be interesting to see where his ear is at in the current times of music and this is going to be an amazing way to solidify pop smoke's legacy and to send him off on a good note on his final project so who do you guys think he should reach out to furthermore to get on the album i think he should reach out to more new york legends 
Lloyd Banks on this album. Maybe 50 can mend his relationship with Lloyd Banks and get him on the album. That would be amazing. So yeah, leave a comment below. I'll definitely check them out to see what you guys are suggesting on Pop Smoke's debut album and what do you guys expect from this project. And that's it for this video. If you guys want to support this channel further, you can do so at patreon.com backslash diverse mentality for just a dollar a month or more. You can help support this channel further. A link is in the description below. Like, comment, share, and definitely subscribe. I do videos like this daily on hip hop news and much more. So definitely subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at QuakeGW. Like us on Facebook and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.